Hi Aquarius, it's me G1 Writer with G1 Insights and this is your life and love focus for the month of July 2019. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, and Venus in Aquarius, okay? So if it applies, then cool, because this is a general reading, so it may and may not. So have an open mind, okay? Please check your birth chart, check your moon and your rising sign, check your Venus sign, um, and again, just remain open-minded, guys. Excuse me. Okay, so July 2nd, give or take a day, okay, we had the new moon in Cancer. So that is really good for aspirations and, you know, helping you to feel inspired again when it comes to your creativity. If your creativity has been blocked for a while, Aquarius, then this is probably the best time to kind of reevaluate how you really feel about your creativity and thinking of your desires in a sense of, is it realistic is what I'm saying, right? Like try to make sense with what you desire this season. So in other words, if if it's something that's really, really like your, your heart song and you just can't really shake it off and it's something you really, really feel like you need in your life and you don't want to let it go, you just have to have it, then this is the perfect season to, again, just reevaluate re yourself reassess your needs and your desires and try to understand the difference between your needs and your wants this season okay because if something is not really um if something is really not that beneficial then it's like why even waste your time doing it why even spend money on it why even invest in it if it's not going to really be beneficial for you so again i just keep hearing reevaluate okay reassess your life your life skills your social life, the company you keep. This is time to re-access everything, okay? So when it comes to your financial situation, I feel like this it's not like you're going to have this big, big problem this season. It's not that, okay? But of course, also happening here in July is we had this uh, Mercury going retrograde July 7th or 8th, give or take a day. And of course, Mercury retrograde sticks around for about three weeks. So about until the 31st of July, that's when it will begin to move out, okay? And then even also in the midst of July, we're still going to be dealing with Venus being in Cancer, Mars being in Cancer, Mercury being in Cancer. So Mercury is going to go retrograde in Cancer, but it's going to end in your opposite sign, Leo. So for you, this is like, yes, finally, okay? You guys get to breathe. There's also a total total eclipse that is going to happen, and I will discuss that in another video, so I didn't mention it too much in any of our um, guidance readings for this month because I wanted to do a separate video on that. Okay, but there is a total solar eclipse happening also this season. So this is going to be a very powerful month um, to really, really reevaluate um, where you stand, you know, helping you to really decide, okay, what do I need? What do I want? Is it really beneficial? Is it really worth my while? Is it really worth my time? You know, um, what are my values? What, what, you know, what am I investing my time and my energy into these days? Am I putting my time and money in places it don't need to be? Okay, so this, again, this is really about you taking a step back. And that's the good thing about Mercury Retrograde, okay? So normally, I don't like Mercury Retrograde, but it's, gonna, it's not going to be in my sign or any of my sister's signs. So I'm okay with that, right? But Mercury Retrograde has a way of slowing things down causing some delays, and for each and every one of us, of course, it's going to be different, right? Like, communication might mess up for one person while you might just have a delay, or you might have messed up communication while that person might have delays, right? Or money might get tight somewhere, or, you know, something like that, right? Either way, I feel like it's all going to work itself out anyway. Like, there will be moments where you will have assistance, um, and resources or people that you can call to kind of bail you out of a situation. However, what the universe is trying to explain to you is whatever you do get, whatever resources come your way, whatever assistance comes your way, the universe wants you to really be um, conservative with your approach when it comes to your finances, when it comes to 
who you're spending your time with, when it comes to who you're spending your money on, and when it comes to what you are investing your money into, this is a time to really, really um, be gentle with your approach, okay? Don't be impulsive because this is not the season for that. Like, this is not the season to just be like, oh, I quit my job, I'm done. Like, this is not the season for that. This is not the season to say, Oh yeah, I don't I don't want this. I'm not doing it. No. This is not the time to quit anything. In fact, this is a time to again reevaluate, to bring things back. In the month of June, we had an opportunity to do that and some of you took advantage of that momentum. Some of us didn't, right? So, this is going to give us that opportunity to really follow through with that action plan. What is your action plan? Do you have a business plan in place? You know, do you have child support set up the right way? Are you going to work? Are you going for that promotion? Did you apply for that job that you wanted, right? So this is a good time, even though it's Mercury retrograde, it's not going to be as strenuous as most Mercury retrogrades are. It's not going to be that bad. Okay, it's just going to be a time where it may just kind of cause us to slow down a bit and just cause us to really think about our approach. Okay, and so for you, Aquarius, I feel like you need this because at times you can be very impulsive. But I do feel um, a strong desire to want to do something, to go somewhere, to move away, to get away, to run away, <laughs> to go on a vacation, to escape your everyday routine, escape your everyday reality, right? Like you guys just want to, ah, I don't want to deal with it no more, right? Like you just want to get away. But your finances are saying, nope, hold on to me, do not spend me yet. Okay, so it's like you want to do this, and for some of you, it's so bad that it's like you, um, if it's not your creativity that's blocked, then it's also sexuality, intimacy, like you guys need love, and I always tell you this, it's okay to want money, it's okay to work hard, it's okay to, you know, desire and to have all the things that you want and that you need, but I don't think you guys have been paying attention to the things that you need. You've been just so caught up on, I want, I want, I want, I want, that, and you don't understand the, the vibration of the universe, that when you keep saying that, the universe is saying, okay, they don't want, they don't want, because you keep saying, I want, I want, I want. So instead of saying, I have, and my life is full of abundance, and I am blessed, and I am infinitely supplied for like all of my days, right? You guys are just saying, I want, I want, I want, I want. Don't be greedy, give to the needy, okay? So this is again, one of those seasons where you have to remind yourself that you are supplied for, that a lot of times we want things just to say we have it. And this season, you're gonna be kind of, it's gonna be like in your face, like, are you sure you need this? You don't need this. You want this, right? And so this is going to be the time where you kind of really say, you know what? This is just a one. I can sacrifice that for a while because I have been kind of foolish with my finances. I have been just kind of spending money in all the wrong places. And for some of you, I feel like if you have been going through a period where your finances have not been as best, then again, be open-minded and flexible when it comes to those resources, when it comes to receiving the help that you need. Be very resourceful. Talk to people. Don't be afraid to say, listen, I need help, okay? Um, because a lot of times that's what happens when we are constantly spending our money and doing things just because we want to do it or just because we feel like we want to have it. We sometimes put ourselves in situations um, impulsively and we don't think everything through. So that is what I love about Mercury Retrograde is that it allows us to retract, to take a step back, to think things through, okay? And that is what it is going to be like for you this season. So it's not that things are not happening for you, but it's asking that whatever come your way, you be resourceful about it. Be conservative in your approach, okay? Especially those of you that have children, you may want to, um, for those of you that have children or thinking about having children, okay, I feel like there's going to be something with that as well, something where you may have to invest in a child or your children, or you may have to, um, you may get a letter that says you have to pay extra child support, or you may get something that says you owe a debt or something like that. 
Either way, okay, I feel like, um, or for like, again, for some of you who have been waiting on something, it may end up actually coming through for you this season. And that's probably why the universe keeps telling me to tell you to budget properly. You have to budget, okay? Um, and this is interesting, guys. If you have Capricorn in your birth chart anywhere, please review their video as well. Um, especially if you have like Mars and Capricorn, because Mars is all about action. So especially if you have Mars in Capricorn or if you have like um, Mercury in Capricorn, if you have Jupiter in Capricorn, you might want to look at those things and look at Capricorn's video because it was very similar. It talked a lot about budgeting, being precise, being conservative. It talked a lot about that. The only difference is Capricorn is like, nope, you're not getting my money. <laughs> and you guys are saying, damn, I want to spend this money, but I know I can't because I have to give it to my children, you know, or I know that I have to invest in something. or I know I need to just make, uh, come up with a bigger plan so that way I can be there for my children right like it's something dealing with children for some of you also we have a full moon happening on the 15th or 16th of July give or take a day that is the full moon in Capricorn so again that's probably why a lot of the serious energy is hanging around as well because Capricorn by nature is very like serious and you guys are next door neighbors like Capricorn and Aquarius share like the same exact planet Okay, which is Saturn, by the way. And Saturn is like the father of all planets. Very restrictive, very serious by nature when it comes to um, home and family and finances. So it will make sense that you guys are reevaluating some things. However, there's something that don't sit uh, quite well with you. I want you to speak up. Speak your mind. Don't wait until the last minute to bring up a situation or to um, speak on how you feel about something. I want you to really, really open up and speak your mind this season. Because, again, you look, a closed mouth don't get fed, honey. Okay, so if you do need help and you feel like, look, I need to reach out. I need to get some assistance. I need some resources. Don't be afraid to reach out. So I love you, Aquarius. Have a great week.